Hey there everyone, I'm back. Um, turns out I was over the time limit in the last video, so yeah. Welcome to another part of uh, Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we beat two Team Rocket executives, Lambda and Agatha, I believe her name was. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up, but yeah, her, um, which is also Silver's mom and all that stuff. Uh, also, last time we got over here and we have to take out these electrodes, so yeah. Here's the first electrode. It uses Reflect, and of course I get the Paralyze Axe, it uses Screech. I use Flame Wheel, and it doesn't do enough damage to kill it, so I just decide to throw a Pokeball at it. Well, not Pokeball, a Great Ball, and it catches it. And that's the only one I'm gonna catch. Whoops. Um, I didn't want to nickname it, but eh, oh well. I'm gonna call it Ball. Oh, it's a K, damn it. Uh, ball. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I named the electrode ball. But yeah. Here's the second electrode. I'm just gonna kill it so I can get the experience with Hyplosion and Area. If you didn't, didn't already know, Area's holding the experience share. And thanks to that reflect, uh, this damn Paralyzed Hacks. Damn Paralyzed Hacks, go away! Nah! There, finally. Yeah, we kill that, get a nice chunk of experience, throw a level, yay. Area, got a little bit of experience from that. And here's the last electrode, which is probably just gonna blow up or something, I don't know. I don't even know if these electrodes have self-destruct in these games, but yeah. Paralyze Hex again, come on, I hate this. Alright, Flame Wheel, one to kill, yay. And that's the care of uh, the three electrodes. So yeah, after you're done with that, you walk up over here without touching the keyboard or anything. And Lance will come up, he says, thank you for helping me beat Team Rocket. He says he found something on the other side, and it's HM05, which is Whirlpool. Uh, they actually switched that from Diamond and Pearl and everything, but yeah. And we got Whirlpool. So yeah, he like, just says stuff, and he walks out with his Dragonite. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way out. Okay. Now all these switch things are turned off, well, alarm things are turned off. I'm gonna actually go pick up items that you can now get without being interrupted by this pretty much the same Team Rocket grunt over and over again. Get something here. We go in here. Make a right turn down here, and I'm and if uh, you, you did decide to go through all the Team Rocket grunts to get into this room, go and talk to the computer, it'll turn everything off so that way you don't have to battle any more, ch any more grunts. Unless you want the money, and so you don't really need to go there, but yeah. That's all done, I'm gonna make my way back up the stairs. I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going back up the stairs. This guy that was blocking our way into the gym is now gone, so now we're gonna head into the gym. Yeah, so we got an actually pretty easy gym. I uh, also kind of like the, the new look for the gym. All you need to do is bump into these iceberg things and head to the doors. I'm um, gonna battle all the trainers just so I can get Typhlos in the experience because all they have are a bunch of ice types. Well, and probably pretty much a mix of ice and water types, but yeah, this guy has two swine ups, nothing you really need to worry about, especially if, a, if you have a fire type. Yeah, take care of that guy. And now we're gonna head over here to talk to this girl. And she, all she has is a jinx. Level 29 jinx. Huh. Alright, I'll use flame wheel, kill the jinx. I'm going to be using a uh, pyro throughout the whole gym, just unless it dies. So yeah, do that, and now we have into the last room with a bunch of trainers. So I'm going to battle this trainer for the experience as usual. All right, here now this is where we start to get into the partially water types. Yeah, we got a seal that uses aqua ring. I probably should have went to my box and got the. 
or was it Ampharos to actually do this gym because Price is actually going to be somewhat hard with Hyplosion because, uh, oh wow, <laughs> the guy switched out, but yeah, uh, it's actually going to be somewhat hard because Price has a Dugong and a Seal, and then he has his final Pokemon, which is a Pyloswine. That would probably be the only thing that Pyro can actually take out. Yeah. Too late now, though. <laughs> and here's that other Seal, uses Ice Shard, don't really mind, it's not going to do much damage. I'm going to use Flame Wheel. Use Flame Wheel again, use his Encore and Typhlosion. Got a level up for area. Two more level ups for area, and it will evolve into Pidgeot. Um, okay, for some reason I have the Electrode on my team. I guess I accidentally forgot to switch or something. Yeah. I'm um, switching so out the Lapras for now, just to take out the Dugong. I'm gonna use Body Slam, get the Paralyzed Hex. Um, okay, put yourself to sleep. So I'm just keep using. I'm just gonna keep spamming Body Slam. I really wanted this to go back quicker. Use Encore, but I was just gonna keep using Body Slam anyway. So I use Ice Shard, but it's not gonna do much damage. And yeah, take care of him. Now you do that. Um, you come around and go over this way. You battle this trainer. And this guy is a, a shelter, cloister, and a seal, I think. Well, I know he has a shelter and a cloister, but I'm not sure about the other two. And yet, the uh, last Pokemon on his team. I'm, I'm gonna switch out to Lapras again. Because, like I said, I really should have went act actually went back to the Pokemon Center to actually get my Ampharos, because. Unfortunately, I didn't get the frickin' uh, Thunderstone yet. That way, I wish I could have actually got it. So that way, uh, I could be freezing through this gym with a Jolteon. Of course, we keep using frickin' <sighs> Ice Shard, not gonna do much damage, yada yada yada. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, what's it called, the Confusion. I'm going out the area, just for the heck of it. Um, I'm gonna use Fly. Don't know how much damage it's gonna do. Not much. But of course, he uses Toxic Spike, so I can't switch out. Ugh, this is gonna be interesting. Just keep spamming Fly. Actually, no, I'm not gonna set Spam Fly to just confuse me. Confuse Ray. What well, the heck that attack wasn't missed, but now he's using Ice Shard, and it doesn't do a lot of damage, but. Okay, took care of the Cloister, got a nice chunk of experience, so I can't switch out because of the Poison Spikes. I can fly, oh yeah, totally forgot I was confused, so I snapped out of the confusion when I was up in the air and I killed the seal. Alright, that's done, now you come up over here and here's Price. Um, but I think I'll battle the last trainer before I actually do that because I want to get the experience like I said before. And I actually want to head back to the Pokemon Center to actually go get Ampharos, because that way it makes the gym battle a lot easier. Um, okay, for some reason he uses Aurora Beam, I didn't do much. I use Lava Splume, get a burn on Dugong, for some reason he uses uh, Aqua Ring, it's not going to help much. Because the burn's just going to get rid of uh, everything that it, the HP that gets back, and whoops, hit the camera. And it dies from the burn. <laughs> Good experience, and yeah, takes care of the trainer. Now I'm gonna cut, because I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, and I'll talk to you when I get back inside. Alright, talk in a sec.